You are listening to the Atlanta Real Estate Forum radio show, all about real estate edition. Shining a light on the movers and shakers in the real estate industry. The home builders, developers, realtors, and suppliers making it all happen. And now, here are today's hosts. Good morning and welcome back to the All About Real Estate edition. I am your host, Todd Schnick, joined by my friend and colleague, Carol Morgan. Uh, Before we kick things off, we do want to thank New American Funding for being our 2021 show sponsor, now our 10th year on the air. It has been wonderful having them as our partner. Carol, we have uh, had the pleasure of having this gentleman on the show before. I love this company. I love their product. Uh, It's going to be, as usual, a great conversation. Looking forward to it. Yeah, this is going to be a good one, Todd. They've got several new communities in Atlanta and in Charlotte and some really cool areas and some fun products. So um, with no further ado, I will welcome back to the show, Alec Rickenbaker with Peachtree Residential. He is the president of that fine organization. So thank you for joining us today, Alec. Um, For our listeners, give them a little bit of a quick introductory introduction to yourself. You know, tell us who you are and what you do at Peachtree Res. Okay, great. Well, thanks for uh, for inviting me. I'm glad to be back. Uh, I think it was probably a couple of years ago when we did this. Been that long. And uh, there's been some changes with us, and and uh, obviously with uh, the pandemic and all the crazy things that have gone on the market. But we've got some pretty good news going on right now. Um, we've been in business for over 30 years. We're a local uh, home building company, building in Atlanta and in Charlotte, and um, most of our product is second or third move up. We're right around six or seven hundred thousand dollars is kind of our average price point and uh the market's shifting things are changing products evolving so um i'm i'm a native of atlanta and have uh, spent my career here uh as a home builder and landscape architect and um just excited to be here yeah well we are excited to have you as well thanks again for making time to join us uh you touched on peachtree residential a bit there uh but uh for those listening who are not as familiar uh uh, go a little deeper in uh, mission and purpose and uh, uh, kind of the product that you all uh, focus on, specialize on. Okay, sure. Um, so we, again, are a locally owned home building company. We've been here for over 30 years. Um, we uh, really, uh, I, I think if we carved out a description of our niche, uh, our slogan is the builder that listens. And what we really try to do is allow people to personalize their homes. Um, with move up buyers, they obviously have owned houses before and, and have learned a lot about what they want and what they don't want. And with our uh, pretty wide array of plans and options that we offer folks, they can really personalize what they do. Sets us a little bit apart from, uh, certainly from the national builders and some larger building companies that, that don't really deal with those level of changes. But I would say that carves out a bit of a niche for us. Uh, we're happy to do it. We're really hands on. Uh, we have a design center that's part of uh, our offering and, and customers can go next door and and make their selections and so forth. But uh, the bottom line is we really want people to be just uh, excited and happy with their homes. And uh, it's a little tough from a building, uh, running a building company standpoint, but no two houses are the same. We, we make so many modifications and changes for folks. We try to have them as uh um, standard options so that we can anticipate exactly what they're going to look like and cost. But uh, I think that is really a carve out for us. Um, I would say the other thing that, uh, uh, is, is worth talking about is, uh, we have over the years kind of shifted into an awful lot of master on the main plans. Uh, it seems the market has taken us in that direction. There's a lot of, move down, move up, move sideways kind of buyers that are more interested in a master on the main. So along with our two-story plans, we have quite a few of those that we offer. Yeah. And that personalization um, and the plans you offer are, I think, a huge part of what sets you apart. Because, you know, when somebody's looking for that second move up or third move up, they don't want a cookie cutter house. They've, you know, just like you said, they've lived in enough that they know that they want you know, a light switch in a specific place, or they want their charging station set up, you know, either in the kitchen in an area, or maybe they want it in that drop zone in the laundry room. But, you know, they've they've got some specific ideas and some specific needs. So it's nice that you can meet that for them. Um, 
let's talk a little bit about this crazy market. I think we all thought 2020 was crazy, but it seems to be continuing in 2021. Um, what are you experiencing with, at Peachtree Residential? Yeah, it's it's crazy, Carol. It really is. It's It was, first of all, a shock and a stunner um, with the pandemic and what we all thought it would bring to pass. Well, in fact, it's, it's kind of the opposite of that. And uh, demand is far exceeding supply in our business. Um, people have anecdotal stories all over the place about uh, bidding wars and, and particularly in resales of numerous people showing up and offering houses. Um, from our perspective, we we really have very, very, very limited inventory for sale because uh, because the demand has been so high. Uh, I think that uh, the challenges from a business standpoint are keeping up with the production needs of providing housing to customers. And it's awfully hard to tell somebody that uh, when we write a contract for them in January that their their home won't be completed until September. But it's it's as much about uh, supply chain and and what's happening out in the marketplace about materials not being available and back ordered. So you know, the, the challenges have kind of shifted into the production world. Um, but the market's great. I, I really were very excited about it, obviously, and uh, want to do everything we can to to provide our customers with the best opportunities at the right price. And that's what we're doing. But my goodness, it's it's a different world. It is. Uh, I never thought I'd live in a world where the supply chain was was going to be so disrupted and affecting so many different industries. It's been it's been quite uh, interesting to see how that's all unfolding. We wanted to get into some of your current projects. Uh, speaking of low inventory, we were going to ask you about uh, St. Michael's Bay, but we understand that's darn near sold out. So we'll move on down the list. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations on that. Waterside at River Glen is one we want to hear about. Tell us about that project. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Todd. Uh, Waterside at River Glen is kind of a unique uh, opportunity that we came across uh, at the end of last year, first of this year. It's 22 lots that are the last phase of a neighborhood called River Glen. Uh, it's um, in Peachtree Ridge High School District uh, over off of Peachtree Industrial uh, in Gwinnett County. And it's 22 lots, 17 of them are back up to the Chattahoochee River. So this was a carved out section in the neighborhood that was developed in the 90s and early 2000s that was held out for whatever reason. Uh, and so we've been able to come in and, and contract for those. So um, really, really unique, close in, uh, special kind of deal. Uh, we've developed some new product for that neighborhood as well as a couple of others I think we're going to talk about. Um, but uh, getting great market reception to it. Uh, it's kind of interesting when you go in a neighborhood that's been built for a number of years. A lot of people want to stay in their neighborhood, but would like to upgrade, uh, you know, put in, do a master on the main instead of a two story or uh, introduce some of the new uh, fresh architecture and looks and open floor plans. So. Uh, we think it's going to be a really good fit for us. Our first houses are really just under construction. We sold a few in there already and and just starting to put sticks in the air on some of the houses. Mm, good stuff. You know, something I really like about that neighborhood is it's really on the Chattahoochee. I know you've got a number of lots that people could literally walk out their back door with their kayak and walk down to the river and put it in. How many of yeah. those opportunities are there? Uh, I, I, there's total of 17. There's probably about, um, I'm going to say maybe 12 or so that really have wide lots that go all the way back to the river. And the river is, is it might be five or 600 feet away from the house sites because there's the ARC corridor that preserves the banks and so forth, the vegetation, but it's fairly flat and it's full of wildlife. It's, it's incredible. You go back there, there's deer all over the place. And um, so talk about private. Yeah, um, some no amazing opportunity for sure. Yeah. Well, let's talk about another one of my favorites, another new community, Garden Park. Tell us about that. Okay, Garden Park um, and, and about these three neighborhoods we're talking about, it's great because we had some closeout neighborhoods last year and these are coming online just, just at the right time for us. <laughs> Garden Park is in the West Forsyth High School District up off of Bethelview Road. Uh, it's 28 lots. It's a gated neighborhood. Uh, it is as a, uh, not a very good, but as a golfer, uh, I would say it's right in the middle of the fairway, uh, just a chip from the green. It's a beautiful, uh, location. Um, we are again, just getting houses to the point where they're dried in and coming up. Uh, 
it is mostly slab construction. It's really picking up the same theme of uh, master down on most of them. Uh, West Forsyth is is the best high school district, at least I, I will say that, uh, in uh, Forsyth County. So a uh, brand new opportunity for us, 28 lots, um, ready to go. Well, in terms of our Metro Atlanta projects we want to talk about, uh, uh, we want to close on Ward Mills Farm. Tell us about that one. Okay, this is an opportunity that we came across. A good friend of mine, uh, David Swales, a developer in West Cobb that I've known for years and years, uh, had a new opportunity. We talked about it, and we we started out there. We built in West Cobb years ago, and began to be more oriented towards the north northern counties. But then the chance to go back to West Cobb presented itself. It's really kind of a Powder Springs address. Uh, we're sharing the neighborhood with a couple of other small builders. Uh, or a couple of other builders, actually. Um, it's in the 600s, uh, big lots. Uh, there's 41 lots in the neighborhood. I, I sound like a broken record, but we've got houses that are just being framed now, completed. We have our first closing coming up, I think, in June. So all these three new neighborhoods came on roughly the same time. And fortunately, we've been able to utilize a lot of the same new product, which is uh, perhaps leading into your next question, but it's about farmhouse. Uh, urban farmhouse and what's going on. So uh, we've been able to do that in each of these neighborhoods. New American Funding is committed to delivering home loans on time while providing five-star service. Their 14 business day close guarantee and fully underwritten pre-approval gives you an unbeatable one-two punch impossible for sellers to ignore. For more information on New American Funding, call 678 678- 898-3540. That's 678-898-3540. You know, one of the things I really like about Ward Mills Farm is its location and proximity to the Silver Comet Trail. Talk a little bit about what else is around that community. Yeah, um, so it's off of uh, um, Lost Mountain Road, just south of Dallas Highway, and um, there is huge Lost Mountain Park out there, which is gigantic, and it's you know full service, everything from tennis courts to uh, all kinds of county facilities. Uh, it's also close to the avenues in West Cobb, which is a great shopping district. Uh, again, we built out in that same area probably 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. It feels close in now. There's just things that are all over the place. So great schools, uh, really a, a fine neighborhood and fine location. Yeah. Well, well, you mentioned that modern farmhouse. Uh, you know, those plans are, are all the rage right now. Uh, talk more about that. Why? Well, it's a really good question. I, I don't know. I, my wife uh, has told me many times that, that – uh, Design trends are about every seven or eight years. They kind of come through and pass through interior design and exterior design. And I would say we're right at the lead end of the modern farmhouse, uh, urban farmhouse look. Uh, it's just really fresh. It's, it, it is brick water tables and board and batten and siding and porches and that whole feel, which is a bit more comfortable and relaxed. Atlanta has over the years had a lot of classic kind of brick uh, and and um, more formalized brick and stone looks. Uh, this is something new. I, I, I don't know where it came from. Uh, if you drive through any of the areas where there's currently a good bit of housing being built, uh, you'll see it. Uh, Milton is a really good representative of what's going on. It, it also is, uh, is kind of indicative of the lighter, brighter colors that are going on architecturally. You've seen a lot of painted brick showing up. Uh, I think that these houses lend themselves to that uh, with white or light colored brick. Uh, There's lots of grays and lots of uh, uh, those kind of tones going on. So I don't know, but it's, you know, it's, it's, we're, we're trying to, if not lead uh, into that product, at least be responsive to it because that's what customers are looking for. You know, it's an interesting trend. I think that a lot of it goes back to Chip and Joanna Gaines and HGTV right. and the whole, you know, the whole board and batten and all the shiplap and, you know, all yeah. those trends. It's kind of the continuation of those those trends that were more 
you know, finishes in the house have now become the whole house. It's, um, it'll be interesting to see where it goes next. But I think that's I, a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Well, talk a little bit, and we've alluded to it a few times in the show, but I know you've got several Charlotte communities you'd like to talk about, and I think a few coming on board there. What's going on in Charlotte? We do, we do. Uh, you know, it's kind of interesting what's happened, too, is, is our Charlotte uh, neighborhoods, our, our, our presence in Charlotte, which we were there years ago and then went back in uh, the early 2012 time period, 2013. We're almost the same volume in Charlotte as we are in Atlanta in terms of new homes. And we have six active communities there. Um, our price points range uh, on a townhouse neighborhood from the, the high fours up to close to a million, uh, which is not dissimilar to what we're doing here. Uh, one of the things about Charlotte that really uh, has uh, been one of our reasons to be there is quite similar. Uh, the product is very, very similar, and we're able to do both in, in both neighborhoods or in both locations. Uh, we have Blackwood Knoll, um, which is in um, Huntersville, which is just a, a wonderful suburban county or city town just north of, uh, um, of Charlotte. Large lots, executive housing kind of deal in the sevens, eights, and nines. Uh, that's a very active neighborhood. We're building uh, at the summit at River Run, um, which is in the city of Davidson, the town of Davidson. Uh, which is a unique opportunity. There's townhomes and single family detached there. And Davidson's really such a unique little town and it's all but built out. There's just not much new inventory coming on there. And then we have a few, uh, I'm going to call it South Charlotte neighborhoods, uh, Kristen Lake and Hennigan Place, which uh, are both really close in and um, uh, are doing well. They're, they're really in the 700s there. Uh, the last neighborhood I really want to mention to you has been McLean, which is in Belmont, uh, south of town. And it's just been one of our most successful neighborhoods in our company, uh, really for the last two or three years. Uh, it is uh, continuing to, to be a leader, and it's a master plan neighborhood, of which we are one builder. Uh, and, and people gravitate towards those types of neighborhoods now, really massive amenities and that kind of thing. So Charlotte's great. We, we love it. Yeah, that's exciting. It'll be fun to keep tabs on uh, on your further development there. At the top of the show, you mentioned, and I had forgotten that you had one of these these design centers. Uh, what a great, uh, this is back in the Atlanta market. Uh, those are so powerful to have uh, such an important asset when you're uh, uh, going to market. Uh, but I'm curious, uh, what, are the, what are the upgrades? What are the options people are looking for? And then through how you're interacting with your customers, uh, what other trends are you discerning uh, from the things I care about? Yeah, great. Well, we and we actually have uh, design centers in Charlotte and in Atlanta. We call oh, it the Peach, Peachtree sure. Design Center. Go figure, great name. Um, and and uh, very talented designers that work in both. Um, the things that we're seeing really are uh, you can open up um, House or Pinterest and find it. It is um, basic, simple, bright designs. Um, there are uh, whites and neutrals and grays are sort of the colors. There's accents of brush, brush gold. Uh, it's layers of textures. Uh, all the things that you mentioned, Joanna Gaines, it's that whole kind of look. Uh, black hardware, uh, lighter gray walls, uh, countertops, clean and simple, no clutter, uh, floating shelves instead of built-ins. Um, we are, it's kind of an interesting thing that fits into the architecture piece too, is, is people love uh, black window mullions, black window frames and mullions. It's more of a commercial look, but um, it, it kind of fits in that whole, uh, whole design process. And we have over the years um, advanced our designs. We have different trim packages that we offer now. There's a craftsman trim package that we offer because that's in high demand. Uh, different door styles, interior door styles. Um, those are the kind of things that we're seeing. Uh, maybe some lighter colored hardwoods, I think. Um, but if, if I had to just isolate it, it's bright, open, uh, uncluttered look. Yeah, I really like the black windows. Um, <laughs> and they go so well with modern farmhouse or urban farmhouse, as you called it. Um I think that, you know, that just it's that nice contrast between, you know, typically that, you know, the black trim and the white house. Yeah. Um, 
talk a little bit about the importance of schools and school systems. I think that's another really nice differentiation for Peachtree Residential in terms of, you know, where you build. Yeah, sure, Carol. Um, when we're looking at a piece of land or lots, um, if not the first, one of the first questions is what is the high school district? Uh, and and the, the, the middle school and elementary school, um, those generally cascade out. If you've got the high school district proper and it's great, then more than likely those are going to be equally good. Um, and what we've been able to do is uh, find some of the best school districts in the city. That's where people want to live. And uh, as a builder, that's where we need to be building houses. That's, there's a demand for shelter there. Uh, folks often want to uh, stay in the same school district if their kids are in school there and, and continue forward. So uh, we've really done both of those, uh, or we've done that in both markets. Um, but it's really one of the first questions. Well, the pandemic changed how we think about how we live in our home, but still, Schools are the most are the most important thing. It really is. I, just one side side note on that: we're building a neighborhood for an investor that is a a, a townhome neighborhood in East Cobb, and it's it's just kind of interesting. It is a uh, a fifty five and older neighborhood, uh, so it's really oriented towards that. But it's in the best high school district in Cobb County. It's like okay, but that's where people want to live, even if they're they will never have children at this stage of their lives or or they're beyond that point. They still are looking for that because the greatest real estate values uh, are there and protected. So yeah, it's interesting. often thought about as resale is the yeah. other reason that question's always asked. So all right, well, Alec, uh, running low on time before we let you go, should anyone need to contact you and learn more about everything happening at Peachtree Residential? Where do they go? Okay, so um, we have a peachtreeresidential.com is our website, and it's a great website. It's very informative. We've got uh, blogs. If you if you search Peachtree Residential or New Homes in Atlanta, um, you'll find us really rapidly. We try to keep really current with our information on there. So that's what I would say, www.peachtreeresidential.com. Find that, and, and that'll take you where you need to go and, and can put you in touch with one of our our uh, sales managers and talk about specific neighborhoods. Alec Rickenbaker, the president of PG Residential. Alec, again, great pleasure to have you. Thanks again for stopping by and making some time for us. Uh, my pleasure. Glad to be here. All right. Well, that wraps this week's All About Real Estate Edition. I've been on behalf of our show sponsor, New American Funding, my co-host, Carol Morgan. I am Todd Schnick. That's all the time that we have for today. Thank you for tuning in and listening. And we'll look forward to seeing you again right here tomorrow. We'll see you then. Atlanta Real Estate Forum Radio is made possible by Denim Marketing, the publisher of Atlanta Real Estate Forum, Atlanta's favorite source for real estate and home building news. Denim Marketing is a comfortable fit, like your favorite pair of jeans. Denim Marketing tailors marketing strategies to meet your specific needs and niche. Try them on for size. They will work to create a perfect fit for your company's marketing program. Call them at 770-383-3360 or send an email to info at denimmarketing.com. For more information on Atlanta Real Estate Forum Radio or to inquire about being a guest, contact info at atlantarealestateforum.com. Check out the radio show by visiting atlantarealestateforum.com or by listening to the show on your favorite podcast app. And if you enjoyed today's broadcast, we'd sure appreciate a rating and review on iTunes. Thank you again for listening. And we'll see you next time on Atlanta Real Estate Forum Radio.